Welcome to Scopey's Nano Adventure, a game about nanotechnology. What is nanotechnology? Come on down and see. Oh, and keep an eye on the ruler at the bottom of the screen as you zoom in. Up here, where you live, we measure things in meters. The average grown-up is a little less than two meters tall. Here, we measure things in centimeters. The leaf you're looking at is eight centimeters wide. On the surface of a leaf, we measure with millimeters. See that bug? He's six millimeters wide. Down here, we measure stuff in micrometers. You can't see down here very well without the help of a microscope. Way down here, far past the micro scale, we measure stuff in nanometers. Welcome to the nano scale. My name is Scopy, and I'm your guide. I'll show you around and teach you how to play the game. So, what is nanotechnology? Well, it's any technology that works at the nano scale. That means anything we can dream up and make work at this scale counts as nanotechnology. In Nano Adventure, we're going to explore some of those technologies and get a sense of the many possibilities that nanotechnology provides for future scientists. Let's go! Welcome to the design table. Here you'll build your very own nano. Do you see the frame in the middle of the screen? That's where you'll build your nano. Now, pay close attention to the flashing colored slots. And don't forget where and when you see them. Ready? Here we go. Let's try it again from the beginning. 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 Great job! Let's try it again from the beginning. Great job! Nice nano! Now that you've created your nano, let's see what it can do. Let's learn how to move your nano around. It's easy. Just press anywhere on the screen and your nano will move toward your finger. To finish the level, you have to collect 10 particles of a specific type. Good luck and have fun.
Here we can see how well you performed in the game. As you can see, we have leaderboards. Each level in Nano Adventure will have a shared goal. Win a Hi there, welcome to Bones. In this level, we're going to show you how nanotechnology can help doctors heal your bones faster. Sometimes when we play too hard or slip and fall, we put a lot of stress on our bones. And sometimes our bones are not strong enough to take the stress. When that happens, a bone can break. Yikes! To start the healing process, a doctor would move the ends of a broken bone close together and then wrap your arm in a hard cast so it doesn't move. With nanotechnology, maybe there's a way we can speed up the healing process. Let's have a look. Way down here at the nanoscale, we can see what's happening as a bone is healing. The body needs a lot of nutrients to help. Let's see if we can build a nano to help deliver those nutrients and reduce the time that it takes for a bone to heal. Let's go!